He did call him a loser, and he does deserve credit for that. However, Trump does fire back, as I've pointed out before, in a very Kanye-esque fashion, with just a barrage of tweet attacks. We've collected a few of the best ones over the past 24 hours. He says, I'm not a whiner, I get stuff done. Talking about Jeb, he's a stiff. He's not a guy who can be president. He doesn't have what it takes. He's an embarrassment to his family. He doesn't even use his last name in his ads. He's a sad person who has gone absolutely crazy. He's a nervous wreck. He's certainly the least talented governor. He should speak more positively. And he also said that if you owned a company, you wouldn't even offer him a job. Mm -hmm. None of those perhaps as good as being able to say you're a loser when you lost the Iowa caucus, you loser Trump. But add it all in together, they are going to hurt Jeb. And I don't expect Jeb to do any better at the next debate than he did in those. So John's been insisting that uh, people call Trump a loser for losing in Iowa. Uh, I hear you, <laughs> and they should have, and especially Ted Cruz. Jeb Bush doesn't have too Maybe much not. of a leg like to stand on there having finished <laughs> leagues below uh, Donald Trump. Uh, and sometimes it's hard not to at least be amused by Donald Trump when he says things like, he's gone absolutely crazy, <laughs> he's a nervous wreck. Because <laughs> unfortunately the son of a bitch has a kernel of truth in what he's saying. Mm -hmm. When he called Jeb Bush low energy, he is kind of low energy. Yeah, uh, he's a nervous wreck. When he says, I wouldn't even hire that guy, you get a sense that that's somewhat yeah. true. He's and, a sad person. Uh, give him a break. Yeah, come on, give me a break. And uh, and when he said when he called him a nervous wreck, you're like, look, y Donald, you might have gone absolutely crazy. That part might apply to you more, a lot more than Jeb Bush. Exactly. But nervous wreck, come on, come on, that's kind of true. <laughs>